two have to read at the breakfast table? Why? It's educational, isn't it, Faye? Faye? What? Owen's talking to you. All right, because when Owen talks, everyone has to listen. Look, love, I know you're angry with me. Oh, yes, my dad said you threatened him. Oh, Faye, don't try and make things sound worse than they already are. Well, he did, didn't he? Love, I was worried about you. Yeah, we both were. We still are. And maybe I was a bit, yeah, a bit full on with Tim. You mean my dad? You know, he might be a biological father, but you don't know him. And we don't know him. No, I won't get the chance now, will I? Thanks to you. You two are always going on about how bad bullying is. How is this different? Because Faye... <sighs> Love, we just want to do what's best for you, that's all. And, yeah, I, I might be a bit heavy-handed at times, but it's only because I care about you. You do know that, don't you, love? I'm going to school. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to take you. Oh, don't bother. <sighs> Oof, nippy in here. Eating's packed in. Have you tried switching it on and off? That's computers. <sighs> but, yeah, I have. Mum, it's totally knackered. You'll have to get a block in. Me? Yeah. Have you seen our Max? It looks like he'll be going to school pulled by half a dozen huskies. He needs fixing today. I agree. Yellow pages under the stairs. What the hell's are yellow pages? What, Mum? No, I'm not solving this. I mean, I'll make a contribution, all right? A contribution? Oh, no, David. Your house, your responsibility. I'm going back to bed with my new Philippa Gregory. I know what she's doing. She reckons I'll crack first. Well, I don't care who cracks when. Just get it sorted. How can I kidnap my own baby? You didn't tell your girlfriend you were taking her. She's my daughter. I've looked after her since the day she was born. I've got rights. What about your girlfriend's rights? She must have been going out of her mind. My client has answered your question. OK. So, you were accompanied on this little trip by Fiona Stape, who's also your girlfriend, is that right? Yeah. Just the two of them are the tyrants. Is that relevant? This has absolutely nothing to do with it. She was with you when you were arrested. Because she was worried about Ruby. She didn't want me to go off and do something daft. And were you going to do something daft? No. No, of course not. Ruby is my world. So you were going to come back? Yeah. Yeah. But Fizz called you lot first, which proves that she has got nothing to do with this. Interview terminated at 10.31 a.m. What happens now? Where are you going? Just sit tight. Oh, just trying to keep my little girl safe. You sure I can't get you a sandwich? I still feel sick. When I think of how close I came to losing her. I thought I might never see you again. I'll get it. Oh, I don't want to see you anymore. I'll get rid. I tried. Oh, I can't stop for long. I'm just on my dinner break. I didn't think you'd have the essentials, so I just popped a desk to get you them. Oh, that's really kind. You didn't need to do that. Oh, I can't imagine what you've been through. Well, it's over now. And Tara owns exactly where he belongs. I hope they threw away the key. I love her. Is she still angry with you? Oh, I'll take that as a yes. I blame Milton for this obsession with gambling. She had no interest whatsoever in such things before she went to America. Oh, although she does like a penny drop and the odd bet on the Grand National. Bingo, the lottery, and she's a beg of a scratch card. Those things are not the same as frequenting casinos and lying about no, it. No, no, I know. As soon as this lunchtime rush has subsided, I'm going up to Skype Milton and give him a piece of my mind. Are you sure that's a good idea, Sylvia? Won't like it. Whether she likes it or not, it's beside the point. Okay. Hey, Sylvia, can I have a pasty, please? One pound eighty. Do I have your permission to take Haley's money, or are you worried I'll put it on a greyhound while your back's turned? Thank, thank you. Yes. Now Faye knows that Owens threatened Tim. As far as she's concerned, Tim's scared to death about even getting in touch with her again. What? Look, he just wants what's best for Faye, yeah? You both do. 
Yeah, but have I got the right to actually stop him from seeing her? Because, like it or not, Gary, he is her real dad. Yeah, but she doesn't know him. Yeah, and as she pointed out this morning, that's my fault. When you've got a moment, I wonder, would you be so kind as to serve a few customers, clear a few tables, you know, those little tasks that are generally associated with working in a cafe? And she's asking for a slap and all. So what are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to ignore the old cow. What well, I meant about fear. Oh, I don't know. You know, he's passed his risk assessment, so the only thing stopping him from seeing her... It's me. They've let me go. No further action, they said. I told her I had nothing to do with it. Thank God. Is Hope OK? Yeah, she's fine. Katie's got her. Thank you, Chez. For everything, what would I do without you, eh? Uh, God knows. Poor Ty. <laughs> We're still questioning him. You've not got any regrets about shopping him. He needs his head exam and getting you involved in the thing in the first place. He desperate, Chez. He must have been. Please, can we just go home, eh? I want to see Hope. Oh, of course, yeah. Come on. Hey, Steve was saying there's a new soul out there at the Silver Starfish. Thought we might give it a go. As long as you have her on by midnight. All right, babe. How are you, sir? Hi. In the pub during the day? That's not like you. Fancy some lunch, that's all. Well, I don't suppose there's anything else for you to do. Thanks for the reminder. Um, we're going to update Jenna's CV today. <laughs> oh, really? A teenager's input. That should help no end. Mom, don't be so rude. When I think of the wonderful career you would have had ahead of you. Oh, come on, don't kick her when she's down. We all know how rotten it is to be out of work. Let's stay positive. All that training. Can I get you both a drink? Why don't you try the cafe instead, Zolf? We might get a warmer welcome. Oh, come on, cut them some slack. She's sound as Sophie. She's practically a child, Lloyd. If you ask me, Jenna's not only lost her job, she's lost her head and all. So you've got a heating engineer coming round? Yeah, in about an hour, yeah. Listen, Grant, I'm sorry again about this morning. It's just Mum says the house is my responsibility now. Mm. Do you know, yeah, I bet she's loving this. Wouldn't surprise me if she got a hammer to that heating system in the early hours just to prove a point. She loves to think that she's the glue that keeps this family together, does my girl. You just stick to your guns, sweetheart. You show her you're perfectly capable of dealing with this on your own. Mm. Not wipe that smirk off her face. Well, <laughs> so is Fizz okay then? Fine, I should think. She was released an hour ago. No further action. Great. Does that mean I can go home and all? Tyrone Dobbs. Yes, sir. Tyrone, you're going to be charged with three counts of assault on Kirsty Soames. The custody sergeant will take you through it. What? I thought this was about me taking Ruby. We're continuing our investigations into that matter. But with regard to the incident when Kirsty sustained injuries falling down the stairs of your home, we now have enough evidence to charge you with actual bodily harm. You will also be charged with two other separate counts of assault. I never touched her! You'll be remanded in custody overnight and taken before magistrates in the morning when your solicitor will be allowed to apply for bail. Well, she's lying. She does this all the time. Why won't anybody listen? This can't be happening. Take these then, shall I? Thanks, Sylvia. That was lovely. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, ladies. Ladies. I think she approves, do you? <laughs> do you care? I do I, yeah. No mum can't get a rise out of me. Why should I let Hyacinth Bouquet over there wind me up? <laughs> I was talking to Gary before at Cafe. Yeah, you mentioned it. Well, I regret saying what I did to Tim, but I'm just so frightened for Faye. Yeah, but I'm just wondering, what is it that we're trying to achieve here? We are trying to protect Faye from some nomad which has popped up from out of nowhere and will probably disappear in exactly the same way. Yeah, but she doesn't see it like that. What she sees is me and you keeping her from a real dad. Oh, come on, love. She's a kid. And a smart one. That performance this morning was because she hasn't got her own way. Trust me, in a month's time, she'll have gotten all the bouncing. Yeah, and what if she doesn't? It's like some type of fairy tale with me as the wicked stepmother. You're not a stepmother, you're a mother. Oh, but I'm still wicked, is that it? Do you know what? I think you might be overthinking this just a little bit. I'm going to have a cup of tea, if that's okay with you. Yes, of course. Let me know if you can't cope. 
I can see how busy you are. Just ignore it. We're out mad here this morning. Mind you, might have a point. And, you know, with all the worrying we fay, I've been had these drawn, haven't you? No, no. Tell you what, you go and pick her up from school, and I'll cook us all tea. If she wants to talk about this, we can do it in a civilised way, round the table as a family. Thanks, Owen. This place looks more like a 1930s Berlin nightclub every day. I've been speaking with Milton. What? Why? I'm trying to get to the bottom of these casino visits. I am very worried, Mother. Don't be so silly. Now, I had thought it was Milton's doing, leading you astray in America. Do you really think I'm that soft-headed that I'd be led astray at my age? Well, not by Milton, certainly, because he's as unhappy with all this as we are. How dare you? I do not appreciate you going behind my back like this. Appreciate it or not, Mother, I want the truth. We worry about you. Now, what exactly happened between you and Milton while you were over there? Yeah, um, thanks for this. Yeah, give us a call, mate. Bye. Oh, you found someone then. Well, eventually, yeah. You know, I had to drop two appointments so I could make this. Is that you turned back on? No, because you were just giving us an estimate, which, by the way, is a fortune. Oh, dear. Haven't we got insurance for the year? Um, I haven't. Have you? Me? I'm just the lodger. Oh! I knew this was in here somewhere. I'm taking it to my box bedroom. Oi, Skyver! Hey. You're locking up. It's not even four o'clock yet. Ah, uh, it's been dead as a doornail all day, so I thought, well, I'll lock up and I'll take Cypher a pizza or something. Oh, if only I had the kind of business where I could just say, I am bored now, I'm locking up and going home. Oh, what about you? No knicker stitches to bully? Mm, always. Oh, hey, come have a pizza then. Oh, looks like the police are caught up with fizzing Tyrone then. Yeah, not see Tyrone though. Well, they probably banged him up. I doubt they're going to let him waltz around Weatherfield, are they, after what he's done? No, what's that supposed to mean? Well, running off with the baby. They'll probably throw the book at him, I would think. And if it's true, what folk are saying about him knocking Kirsty about... Now, folk round here say a lot of things, don't they, love? And it's normally about me and you. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't buy all this stuff about Tyrone. The lad I know, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah. Maybe. But he did take the baby. There's no two ways about that. Yeah, he did, but I did exactly the same thing with Simon. The only difference being I got talked out of it before the coppers arrived. So whatever that poor lad's done, I am not going to be the one to throw the first stone. Come on. Why is the heating still not fixed? Guess it's going to cost 200 quid. I don't care how much it is. I've got five layers on and a parker here. Look, it's just me mum playing silly beggars, yeah? She's going on strike and having nothing to do with the house just so it proves a point. All right. Well, do you know what she's doing now? What? Tucked up under a duvet with Max watching Dumbo. And she picked him up from school and did his tea. See? She said she'd back down. Yeah, well, she is very good with the little ones. I'll give her that. Yeah, but what if she packs that in and all? You know how much we depend on her with Max? She's already threatened to go on strike from childminding duty. She continues with that and we're all royally screwed. She won't do that. She loves him. Yeah. Well, she loves essential eating and all, but she's going without that easily enough. I'm telling you, David, sort it. See, it was all going perfectly well until Milton's daughter came along. Charity. Never was woman more inaccurately named. She didn't get on? No, good grief, no. She was a bossy, manipulative woman like chalk and cheese. I see. And she had Milton just where she wanted him, under her thumb. She never said anything, but she insinuated several times that I was controlling him. Can you believe that? Well, she criticised my cooking, his wardrobe, his exercise regime, which I had worked out so meticulously. But what happened? Well, she found out about the medical expenses for my hip and claimed that I was sponging off Milton, the very idea. So I thought, right, I'm going to show you, Miss High and Mighty. This is when the gambling started. Well, I uh, I was 
quite the blackjack player in my girlhood. <laughs> so I withdrew what money I could and I put on my best frock and I walked into the Casino Morongo, which incidentally has got the best seafood buffet in the whole of Palm Springs. And I played as if my life depended on it. Oh no. And I won. You won? At first. How much did you lose, Mother? Everything. Milton had to bail me out. And then the dreaded charity found out. And, oh, well, you know the rest. But this still doesn't explain why you're going to casinos here. Because I've got to win my money back. But what are you using to play with? Oh, no. Oh, no. Roy, how can you think that I would steal from you? Well, I wouldn't, under normal circumstances. But, but gambling, it's a vicious, frightening addiction. People do all sorts of things they wouldn't normally, just to feed the beast. Don't be such a drama queen. And anyway, I always play within my means. The hundred pounds I gave you. You didn't lose your purse, did you? No, no. I, uh, I used me a couple of credit cards and I pawned the watch that Milton gave me. How much do you owe? Just under £2,000, last time I checked. I haven't had the courage to look at the last statement. You have a gambling problem, Mother. Yes, I know I have, Roy. Now I've got a credit card problem as well. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. So have you got any homework? A bit. Oh, Faye, I wish you'd talk to me properly. Look, love, I know you think me and your mum are standing between you and Tim. My dad. You can call him that, you know, cos that's what he is. Fine. Fine, your dad. But can you not just see how worried your mum is, eh? Pulling all these stunts, running off, scaring her half to death. I want to get to know him. He's dead nice. If you just give him a chance... Faye, you know very well it's more complicated than that. You see, Tim and your birth mother had their chance when you were born, love, OK? And that is why you went into care. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, love. Hang on a minute. All right, if she wants to talk properly or grown-up like, then she needs to hear the truth. He's dead sorry about all that. He's told me. Oh, yeah, I bet he is, his version of it, It's yeah. not like that. He didn't have a choice, just like I don't have a choice to see him. It's so unfair. <sighs> You're not my dad, and you can't stop me speaking to him. No, Faye, we've talked about this. Just hang that phone up now. No, what? No, what? Tim could be saying oh, anything. He could be saying anything. See your mind. I'm telling you all no, sorts of stuff. We said you weren't allowed to get back in touch with him, so I'm sorry, I'm taking your phone off you. You can't do that! Yes, I can, so just calm yourself down. Even if you have got my phone, you can't stop me from speaking right, to him. Give it here. No! 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 Stop it! No! That's my whole life, and you just smashed it! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you think you're playing at? Oh, Tim could have been contacting you around it, that's all. Oh, right, great, so you just break it. Oh, I think that's called the Owen method, yeah. isn't it? Well, I think she's too young to be using the internet anyway, love. Yeah, well, I think that she's too young to be grappling with a middle-aged man I... twice her height and weight. Love, I just wanted to... Oh, shut up! Shut up, Owen! So much for regretting going heavy-handed with Tim, whatever he's flaming called. I now you've only made things ten times worse. You shouldn't have been coming. No! No, shut up! I've had enough. I can't think straight. I want you to go. What? Just go. I can't think. I need some time on my own. I want you to go. Get out! Just go! OK. Yeah, that's... I see. Yeah, yeah. How is she? Oh, she's jumpy still. She won't let Ruby out of her sight. Oh, I can't say I blame her. Well, I thought a walk might take her mind off it, yeah, but she's been on the you. phone most of the time. I think to the police. Thank you. What's happening to Tyrone? I think that's what she's trying to find out. Oh, Kirsty! Oh. You see her? My baby! I've still got your scheming little bitch. Kirsty, don't upset yourself. I can't believe she's got you filled and all. Well, actually, I can because you've always been naive, but you. Oh, I know what I know, Faith. No, you don't know anything. You've just swallowed her lies like everybody oh, else. I'm a liar. You and Tyrone have been plotting against me for no, months. You haven't. thought it all worked out, didn't you? Me and Tyrone's fake wedding, getting parental responsibility, taking my baby. But I rumbled you. See, so you did to Ruby what you did to Tyrone. You, Do you just know told something. What you wanted. I think you might be mad enough to actually believe this rubbish it's you come out not with. Rubbish. Oh, what? So it's Paul Kirsty, is it? The sad little victim when she's been terrorising Tyrone for months and months. I know the truth. Look, get off me. Back off. Me. So does Tina. Back and so off. does Tommy. Get off. 
The truth will come out. Oh, in the I'm end. counting on it. You really are completely mad, aren't you? You need professional help. Oh. Tarot's the one who needs professional help. I'm a good lawyer. Hey, what did I not say? He's been charged with three counts of assault against me. Your boyfriend's going nowhere. Hey, hey, hey. Three against one, is it? He used to call that bullying when I were at school. But it's all right, Carla. Well, no, it doesn't sound all right to me, and it's Mrs Connor. Are you all right, Fizz? Um, you're taking yeah. her side. No, no, you see, there are no sides. It's just you yelling at Fizz. She helped Tyrone steal my baby. I was the one that called the police, you stupid woman. Kirsty, come on, let's just get you inside. Check with the police. Tyrone's been remanded in custody. Looks set to be there till the trial. <laughs> but on the bright side, you'll know what he's going through, ex-jailbird yourself and all. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to make the most of his time inside. You're all right. He was just trying to protect Ruby, that's all. Come on, is there anybody in it, yours? No. Follow me. For a very special night with some brilliant names, including Rowan Atkinson, Hugh Laurie, Pixie Lot, Jules Holland, Paul Whitehouse and Harry Enfield, and find out how adding your name to the organ donation register can make a difference. From the heart, tonight at nine. And we start next here on ITV with a tonight special. Stay with us. Yeah.